Welcome, welcome. This is the Bird's Eye View, and we are back. Uh, we got the War Duck here, and we got Mr. Crow. And uh, we are going to talk about Dying Light. Now, um, I played this on PS4 and PC. Of course, I own it twice, like a lot of games I own twice, or, or, or other games that I've bought multiple times and still haven't beat. But that's why we're playing it now. Uh, did you ever beat Dying Light, Mr. Crow? I did. I uh, it, I played it on the console version. It's been it's been a little while since I played it last, um, but yeah, I, I I did beat it. Great game. I didn't. I, I definitely love the trophy hunting stuff. I didn't go get all the trophies, but great story. I, I love this game. It, it is a lot of fun. Now this game came out in two thousand and fifteen. Okay. Yeah. That sounds... and, and I got it on the PS four on whatever release, midnight release or whatever release. Okay. And um, played some of it. I really like the game, but I got it to play with somebody else and then they didn't play mm. it. And then, and then, so other people had it on PC. So I bought it again on PC and I pretty much got into the same part every single time I've ever played it. Okay. And then, and then, like I've never gotten past it, and I was like, okay, so I'm playing it again now, and I actually oh, nice. just the other day, just Friday, got past the part I had never been past before. So oh, I'm, okay. I'm so, like, like progress. All right, but oh, that's but, great. <laughs> but this Good. game, this game came out in 2015. Now I'm gonna switch over so you guys can actually see the game play in the background while we chat about this. All right, here we go. All right. So, so the premise of this game is you are this undercover agent or mercenary or yeah. whatever for the GRE, which I don't know what that stands for. Yeah, I don't know. Um, um, and I some can't even recon some. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something clever yeah. with zombies, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I got nothing. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> So you work for the GRE and you get dropped in and then all, ho all goes to hell and then you're kind of stuck with these moral decisions and and uh, it's a very gritty, dark game in some aspects because this guy is like caught between helping these people that he feels are good folks yeah. and, and then having to do a bunch of stuff that he doesn't really want to do for these other people. His job, if you will. Yeah, yeah because he has to. Well, and then the third yeah. faction, the Rise faction, where he's like, oh, where he's I like, I'll break both your freaking legs if you don't give me this money. And he's like, I don't really want to do this. But, you know, and he like just jumps right into the role. And then he's like, eh, well, I'm back. I don't work for them anymore. So let's be friends and help me out, you know. <laughs> Like, it's like, yeah, but well, and but, I, I don't. How far are you in the game then? So knowing that you have not finished it, I have. So I don't want to give away anything because it's a great story. This is a wonderful story for anybody who hasn't played. I, it just this game's fun. So awesome. I've gotten to the part where uh, we just found the explosives. Oh, okay, then no, I can't even say what I was going to say. So, <laughs> so, so that's as far as I am. And, and, and what the problem was the other day is I ran into a spot where I was like, there's no orange dot on the screen to tell me where I'm supposed to go and what to do. And I was like, oh, so that was like just running around. And then I happened to run into, uh, I went back to the tower just to find these persons. I'm supposed to turn in some flowers or something or other. Oh, okay. And yeah. and then she's like, oh, thanks. Oh, hey, but by the way, go over here. And I was like, oh, all right. Now I got the orange dot. Now I know where to go for the next mission and stuff. Oh. <laughs> and now you got the help assistance. Right. So now so now I've like progressed the story a little farther to where I'm at right now. But there are um, tons of side quests, too, in this game. And, 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 that's, and that's where I run into a lot of my problem is I tend to mm -hmm. want to do every single thing in the game. Yes. And so all these side quests, I'm out running around doing side quests and and I get so sidetracked because I'm like, here's the quest I want to do way over here. And so I'm running there and I'm like, wait, what's this quest this right guy, here? This guy's asking for help. <laughs> <What happened? laughs> 
Oh, you want me to run all the way to the back where I just came from? Oh, okay, yeah. let me let me run. Oh, wait, what's this quest over here? Wait, what yeah. do you need? As you're, no, as you're so, running yeah. across, you're like, there's another person asking yeah. for help. Let me help you. <laughs> and it's great because it forces you to explore places that you haven't yes. been, and it forces you out of your comfort zone to go places that you uh, might not really want to be going. of the comfort zone, when you have a, your mission at night, Oh my it god! It took me forever. No, my first night mission, I was like, "No, I'm good. No, I'm good. I won't. I'm, I'm just screw that." Eventually, I had to do that thing. Talk about adrenaline the first time I did that. So oh. the the one I just did that really like I don't do heights very well, right? And it's like oh. go at night and climb up to the top of this freaking bridge and look over the edge and and pull out these light bulbs and and like. Oh, yeah. And because this is parkour and he's all he's all like wobbling and I'm like, oh, and like my I can feel my stomach going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, <laughs> <laughs> like tiptoeing to the edge. I'm like, Egh. and uh, am I far enough. Am I far enough now? <laughs> but this game is the extremely amount of things to do and it's extremely fun and it's even more fun with multiplayer because then you guys can run around and and do there's challenges you can do and things like that for the first time i got invaded by a zombie i didn't know like i knew that was i knew you could play as a zombie but i'd never been invaded oh. so i didn't really know what was happening mm -hmm. and so like he, the, he like the zombie like ran up and i was kind of in a safe zone so i was like oh, okay whatever you know, and then so he was all jumping around and I was just standing there in the in the UV light and I was like, OK, whatever, you know. And then um, and then all of a sudden, like he just grabbed me and chewed my face off. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, like, what? That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, UV ray light now. <laughs> yeah. That, so I was like, OK, no. OK, well, I know that that happens now. So there's like an added aspect. You can turn the public matchmaking off because I had some random jump in and just start like giving me all kinds of stuff. And I was like, yeah, we're not yeah. doing that, dude. So I turned it off and I was like, okay. that's, that's exactly what happened when um, Carl and I, when we, when we first tried to play it, like, uh, I don't know, about a year, year and a half ago, we decided that cause he's never played it. And so he and I downloaded it. We went and started playing it. And then all of a sudden this random guy just showed up in our lobby and we couldn't, move to the next phase you know it says open this door oh god yeah and so i'm trying to open this door to move to the next and the phase. randoms out running and around it says um no you need to wait for the rest of your team well i didn't know random was here and then all of a sudden i'm like well hey come on carl get, get over here he gets over there and is like waiting for the rest of your team and i'm like wait wh what's going on how come we can't <laughs> so it like completely locked us up and then when we did find the random we're like and he's like here have this and this and he's throwing stuff at us and i'm like all right, we, we got to figure a way around this. Yeah. Well, even like even playing with friends, right? Like you got three of your four guys there and your one guy's off running around just jumping up and down and doing whatever. You're like, yeah. come on, come on, you get, get like, over here. We're, we're in the story. <laughs> like, let us drag you to the story. So yeah. so like I said, this game came out in 2015. Uh, it's a really excellent game. Really excellent game, especially if you like Smash and Zombies and stuff. You can create all kinds of crazy weapons. I was beating people with a guitar the other day, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and and you can like drop kick people, and it's just Love the, <laughs> it's yeah. super fun. Um, so parkour. so the, parkour parkour. <laughs> so the game is forty dollars on Steam. It's twenty dollars on the PS4 from GameStop or the PlayStation Store. And it's 15 on Xbox One at GameStop. So, so of course, it's $40 on Steam, but I never buy anything. Um, I never, I rarely ever buy a game full price on Steam. I usually wait till a Steam sale where it would usually go down. And, and if you could get, like, the enhanced edition for 20 bucks or 30 bucks, I think that would be worth it because then you get the Game Pass and the extra DLCs that come with that. So, so that's my take on the price part of it. So, so, so the developer is Techland and they're most known for, of course, Dying Light, but they developed yeah, other games game. called, um, the Call of Juarez. It's a Wild West gunslinger game back in 2007 on the PS3. I played it. I absolutely love that. And, but I like Westerns. And so okay. I loved that game. 
And then they came out in 2009, Bound for Blood, which was the the sequel to Call of Juarez, which I found just as good. And then in nice. 2013, they came out with Gunslinger, which I thought was played better than the rest of them. And I thoroughly enjoyed all three of those games. Now, I didn't really realize that Techland had done those games. Um, and ne- I yeah, never I really paid that much attention to it, who had made them. But... Um, in 2018, they've been busy. They did uh, uh, Pure Farming Simulator in 2018, and just recently in 2019 came out with God God's Trigger. It's like a top-down Diablo-style game, um, okay. but that's... Yeah, I've uh, not heard of any of these games, though, myself. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's good. I hadn't heard of God's Trigger either. It wasn't highly publicized or anything, and, and that's not really my style of game either, so it's not something that I would yeah. play. But here's here's the thing for me about why, in, in addition, that I would still pay for Dying Light, and I would probably still pay the full price if I absolutely had to, is okay. Techland as a developer, to me, really make sure they take care of their 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 gamers and their people, the people that love the world <laughs> that they play that game in. And they take pride in what they're doing. They is do what, is what I'm hearing. And, right? and, and, just... and the reason I can say that is they came out with 24 DLCs oh, wow. for Dying Light. Wow. Now, DLCs is just downloadable content, but uh, they range from uh, skins and weapons to uh, actual new maps and new gameplay. And if you buy the Enhanced Edition, you get the Season 1 pass that comes with, like, the following and the uh-huh. Bozak Horde and the Qu- Cuisine and Cargo game DLCs for free. They just gave them to you. Oh, nice. Now, the following, is that, I'm trying to remember that, isn't that the one that introduced the go-karts and stuff like that? The buggies and stuff like the that. Buggies, the buggies. Now, I haven't Which played it. I haven't the- got there. But oh, okay. I play with Hard Case, and he's beaten the game two or three times. Fully Wreck has beaten the game two or three times. And they were telling me, oh, just wait till you get out of this initial thing and you get to the next area, that that's yeah, yeah, where yeah. it really is even more fun. Yeah, because once you get the buggies, it you graduate to the it, it you graduate to the next you've left the city if you will so right and and so and, so and that's a huge that's a fun game too and so that's where I'm excited but but. Like, Techland just kind of gave those to you. They're like, we're not, yeah. you know, if you got the season pass, we're just going to give you these games. And then if you buy the enhanced edition, cool. we're just going to give you these games. It, we're not going to charge you. We're not going to charge you. We're just going to give them to you if you bought the enhanced edition. Bam. And there's not very many bugs in this game. Like, no. Th- there's a few here and there, but very, it's, it's a pretty well-polished game. I, I agree. It, because I really... Ha- haven't found like i thought i was i thought i was screwed the other day i jumped in between i jumped and missed the jump and landed in between a building and a fence and i was like i was like i was like uh uh uh-oh and i was like trolling around and then like i kicked at the the wall of the building and it just put me into the building and then i was looking around and there was no door and i was like oh no so i kicked the building again and it just let me through so i didn't get stuck i didn't have to reload sure is it maybe a glitch but even as a glitch it wasn't something that i had to reload or fix or do anything i agree this is one of the you didn't lose any unsaved progress you didn't this is one of the more polished games i agree and and I can't think of a lot of where there was a lot of patches to it either. I can't remember them being a lot of patches to this game. I don't... Now that you mention it, no, I don't recall any updates being being needed in, the, in my when I played it. So, so as a developer, a when I look at Techland, I look at that as something that... Um, because they care about their player base... And because their games are generally more polished, um, I, I feel really good about saying I would recommend this game to anybody. Yes. Now, now, okay, so this game came out in uh, early 2015. And then right after that, in February, they came out with the DLC in 2015, the Cuisine and Cargo. 
In May, a few months later, they came out with the Bozak Horde. And then in February 2016, a year later, they came out with the following. I did do that. And then they also did the free DLC 10 and 12, which was skins and weapons. They gave away 10 different packs in 12, 12 months. With all kinds of different weapons and skins and and stuff for people to do because I mean let's let's get real like it's fun. games make so much money on skins and stuff that yes. it's it's ridiculous and for them to like give a lot of those away for free um, was something that was kind of amazing. And that that's a lot of things I think people don't realize is how much work goes into putting into skins. Right, it's a lot of work. So to, yeah, give it away. That's pretty cool. Pretty now. Cool. Now, um, now, the thing is, is Techland's not done. They, no. They're coming out with Dying Light 2, but they're not even done with Dying Light 1. And they were made, so... No, they're still working on it. So, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as that, but what I, well, it's actually, not that's active. not true. That's not true. I, I disagree. They are because, guess what? They just had a community event. Just oh, really? the other, just the other day, there was a community nice. event. Okay. And so they still do some things, and basically it was like a like a summer community event. They still do that kind of stuff. So they okay. they do still work on this they're game. Really involved. And they're keeping it going, and a lot of people still play it. Now, what I was getting to is on July twenty third of this year, um, Techland oh, yes. is is doing another DLC for Dying Light. That DLC is called Hellraid. Yes. Now, this game, this wasn't a planned DLC for Techland and Dying Light. In 2015, uh, 2013, uh, Techland uh, had a release that they were developing a game called Hellraid using the same engine as, as uh, Dying, Light. Dying Light. Now, for whatever reason that the, that I don't know, um, is uh, they canceled it, and I tried to do some research and find out why they canceled it. I never really came up with what it was. Okay, yeah, I don't, I can't. So, I either, though, so. whether it was money or disagreements in development or God knows why games just decide not to get released or whatever, it didn't. Yeah. And um, and then there was talk of delay, and then there was the final cancel, and then we're done. And then yeah. we're done with it. And then instead of throwing it in the trash, um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this in the background. So just give me a okay. second here to switch this. They've brought this game basically. They gave it a little bit of a breath, a, a, a life, not breath. They've given it life. Right. They they said, you know what? We're not going to just throw this game away. We're going to reward the Dying Light community, and we're going to make yeah. this a Dying Light DLC. So cool. instead of That's just really throwing cool. it away and, and not doing anything, they rewarded their player base with another DLC for Dying Light. It is ten dollars on Steam. It comes out on the twenty third. I will most definitely get I this. Will, I will buy it. And here, I don't buy DLCs. I generally don't buy <laughs> DLCs at all. I will get this DLC. I will get this DLC. I will play this DLC. Um, oh yeah, I will be too. Because not only do I want to reward Techland for caring about me and you and the players that they have in their world. Agreed. Um, Agreed. It's also Agreed. right up my alley of. Of type of game it's medieval uh skeletons and stuff kind of D ish and stuff so that's like like another reason for me is like oh yeah we're, we're definitely <laughs> we're definitely getting on here to do this um but uh so how can you not reward somebody like techland how can you not i don't know think that they that's don't care question. about you you know this this company has as you've as you've outlined it, it, they've done really well. They've they've definitely looked for their community. They keep them in mind, and and they they definitely have re- rewarded their community with things and given them things. Still, this day, I mean, 
yeah for as long as the game's been out and they're still doing active things with their community with this game that's pretty cool not to mention they're still developing dying light 2 which was supposed to be out this year but with Mm -hmm. everything that's going on um you know that doesn't always uh i i kind of wonder if it was also um with the new consoles coming out too i think they i i wonder you know i just i throw it out there everybody knew new consoles were coming out the why not you know like i could see with what how you have outlined for Techland of cha- looking for the community and looking forward they may be kind of holding out to try to reward their community with the new console yeah and in some some places say that we'll just give you a free upgrade up upgrade give, we'll just give yeah. you a free upgrade to the the ps5 version uh, when it comes out uh but i think Techland, i i i now that you say that, I'm going to agree with you. And I think Techland probably is like, look, we've already made it available for the PS4 because that's what mm-hmm. we were developing it with. Well, and, and, and you look at PS5, says it's going to be somewhat backward compatible too. Right. So they know, I, I would assume Techland thinks that, that somebody who's going to move in a console world of the PS5 is still going to be able to play Dying Light as well. Right. So they're probably taking care of their comp- their their clientele, if you will. But you with know, with the added graphic capability of the PS5 yes. closer to the PC, or if you're some developers that remain nameless, better than PC. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll see. But like you know, it's like making sure that all their textures and all their 4K uh, screens and all that stuff are adequate. For the PS5 yeah. and the PC, and that and then doesn't hurt the PS4 um, ability yeah. to play the game with lo- with exorbitant load times or glitching yeah. and, and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's also by what you said is probably where Techland has delayed the game. Not to mention the fact that with the pandemic, people are aren't in the oh, yeah. same room together and probably passing different pieces to have different people approve and to look at stuff and to play stuff and develop stuff probably takes a little longer from not being in the same room. Because it's not like you can say, hey, Johnny, hey, come look at this glitch I found when I was running this yeah, playthrough. Yeah. Let me show you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to record it. You've got to... Not necessarily have to edit it, but yeah, upload there's, there's it. A bit more Somebody time. has to get to it. I mean, this is all speculation because I have no idea how yeah. it actually works. But that's what I envision it as: is instead of having Johnny who developed this particular piece right next door who can fix it, yeah. now you got to upload it. It's got to go through everybody else to get back to Johnny. Johnny's got to fix it, then it's got to go back, and then and then I imagine that just adds extra time. So I'm okay with the delay, especially because. Techland's like, here, Dying Light One. I know you're waiting for Dying Light Two, but guess what? We're gonna we're gonna give you a whole new DLC. And what I heard is this DLC is kind of big too, because it's almost like a, a game in itself, almost. It's so yeah, that's what I've heard too. So yeah. uh, I'm excited for that. Like I said, this is kind of right up my alley. Good. And just watching it is just, just looks scary. All kinds of skeletons and crazy stuff running around. Um, and, and you still got parkour. I mean, who doesn't like parkour? It looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, parkour and around a castle. Right. Oh, yeah. And I think, if I recall right, they've introduced some new parkour moves in Hell Raid. And so you're able to do some... Don't quote me on this, but I've heard rumors that you can do wall walks, too. Like, you know, limited. Let's what are they going to do, like, like crazy parkour, like where you like can do like crazy flips and stuff off, you know, when you're... Cause you know you watch YouTube where those guys are doing flip off one building and and they miss and fall and break their leg and stuff. You know, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, I watch those outtakes too because those are the cool ones. I mean, who, that's why I don't do parkour. <laughs> it's because I've learned by these guys. Well, even playing this game, dude, I miss and break my leg and. Oh yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, but, it's it's fun. I I and I'm I'm looking forward to the hell raid. It it is. It's gonna look good. They've, and, they've got weapons. And here's but, the other thing is mm. is. Pray and just hope that Dying Light 2 is cross-platform with PC and uh, PS5 right and PS4. People need really to keep is. looking towards the, the cross-play. It's the future. And it's, it's no more, 
I'm a PC player. I'm a console player. Instead, it's more like, hey, I'm a gamer. Can we can we play this game together? Like, yeah, you're gonna have to add me and my friend because I play on this platform. Yeah. You know, it's I, I I just I don't know. I had somewhat of a discuss on this on the on the stream the other day too. It's consoles aren't gonna go anywhere. They're yeah. easy computers that are low maintenance for parents to buy young children to play games. And and and, and yeah. I have the PS4 because of the exclusive, like the the recent yeah. game that came oh, out oh, that yeah. I'm playing. Um, which is awesome, but, and then, and then I, of course I spent like four hours the other night messing with my computer because something just wasn't quite right with it. And so that's where the, the consoles, that I don't have to do with that. I just exactly. put the disc in and, or, <laughs> di or download it and I just play. I don't have to worry about windows screwing you it up or any works. of that. <laughs> but see, then there's this tech people who like that stuff. You know, we, we tweak and adjust and overclock and do all of these things you that say is we is that you well <laughs> I, yeah it's true i haven't messed with a computer a gaming computer probably the last gaming computer i had was 2006 and yes i fine-tuned that baby and pushed it to its limits and yeah it was good times see i i do not um i do not uh i, I don't I don't do that. I, 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 when I very yeah, first, <laughs> no, no. When I very first <laughs> built my PC, I got the, the, un, the unlocked card so I could overclock it. And then I got Ooh. the, got the GPU <laughs> and I was going to overclock it. And then they had that, uh, the Bitcoin thing where all the prices okay. of everything went. And I was like, yeah, I'm not replacing any of that stuff. No overclock, no nothing. No. It's just, Standard operating procedure because we don't want this stuff wearing out anytime soon. Because I can't report, I can't replace a Bitcoin freaking GPU now because they're four times the price that they were. And so now I just buy now. See, now I just buy the stuff that's big enough that I don't have to overclock it. And then I don't have to mess with it because that's that stuff always just scares me. It's like, oh yeah, overclock is so much more powerful. Yeah, oh, man, I had to replace it because I burned up my CPU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. Do have, that. have you ever edited anything in the BIOS? Uh, uh, other than fan speed, no. Okay, but you've been in the BIOS. I've been in the BIOS just to see what was there, what you can do. Well, what, okay. Back in the day, he's what we call the tweaker. I, I did. I, <laughs> I did. You guys are. That's a tweaker. I did but. originally overclock my CPU and my and my GPU for like six months. And then when all that Bitcoin stuff happened, I totally uh, I took all of it off. Other oh, okay. than that, I haven't adjusted anything other than my fan speed, which basically almost run at 100% all the time because heat is your worst nightmare. Yeah. Um, so, like, it's like my computer turns on, my fan speed starts to rise, and then when they get about operating temperature, it goes to 100%. <laughs> so I can keep everything cool. No, all right. Uh, we got a sidetrack right. there. Back, we back, digress. Back. All right, we did, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the next one. <laughs> so, Dying Light, Dying Light, the original Dying Light, Dying Light Two is coming out sometime in the next year. Uh, yes. it, it'll be out, and it'll be in in my guess just fantastic. And so, we'll definitely be getting that and playing that. But, um, out of ten feathers for a game score, what's your feather rating for Dying Light? For Dying Light, my rating. It has a great replay value, um, a great storyline, brings you in there. Huge uh, world, too. I mean, this is like before Red Dead Redemption in my eyes. You know, like this was a huge world. Um, it isn't perfect. We all know that. So, of course, it's not going to be a 10, but I'm going to say that thing is going to be at least, I'm going to say at least eight feathers, eight feathers for me. I'm I, I give it a very high. I'm going to go with nine feathers. And here's the reason is, is the one thing that like drives me up the wall is um, controls sometimes. See, and that was one of the reasons. Yes, they don't do like, I'm like, okay, yes, I needed that. This is the one I, yes, there are it, some things with the controls. That so when you're running and you jump to have to hit a button to make sure you're holding on and staying uh -huh. there. That kind of thing drives me. That to me, if you're a parkour, that part should be automatic. 
<laughs> exactly. I agree. And and maybe push a who button jumps? if you don't want to grab onto something, I guess. I don't know. Exactly. But <laughs> who jumps who's running along and jumps to go grab this thing? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Plop. <laughs> or I'm climbing up this antenna tower and I gotta jump from here to over here and I just jump up against it and go, oh Yeah. Like you're natural yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. My your natural thing is to grab onto anything you can't because I'm about to fall down. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. Even if you are falling, you're still grabbing onto everything. <laughs> so, so, and to me, I'm being nitpicky. I, I, I love this yeah, game. Just... Like I said, I bought it twice, and I'm playing it for the fourth time. And this time, I'm, I'm gonna see it all the way through. Um, nice. now, and and so, it's, it's, I don't know, nine. Uh, it's, it's, it's so close to a ten to me. If the controls were just like. I, I found them much harder to use controls on the controller and, and the PlayStation. It was much harder for me to parkour than it was on PC. Okay. Um, so, but I am not a predominant controller console player either. So there's that that kind of thing is if I was more used to, like, press the X button. Oh, yeah, X button. All right. You know, I don't know what it is automatically, right? Sometimes I'm like... <laughs> where's, the, where's the A? And that, oh yeah. man, that so made me angry in, in Red Dead Redemption 2 when you're having to do the five finger fillet, right? And he's like, it's like X squared, extra triangle. I'm like, fuck, which one is it? Like, you have to set it down and like, like, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> you're pecking, like, which one am I supposed to hit? Okay. Because yeah, you got to do it in order, right? It's like, it's like, oh my God. So, so uh, I encourage anybody to get this game, yes. um, and on whatever console you have to play it on, uh, play this game. It is really, very, really worth it. Now, as a side score, I want to score Techland. What's your feather uh, rating for Techland? You know what? Based on some of the little bit of research that I looked into, and 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 in, including what you've given out today too, there's some things the input that you've been, actually said in this in this little get together. Um, I, I think hats off my hats off to Techland. They just seem to be doing the right thing and have, and, and they're not arrogant or anything. They're, they're really a low kind of, they just kind of remain there, but they have, they have their priorities. They have their morals and they're doing really well. I, I'd have to say a full 10 for what I know and have seen and how they try to treat their customers, us as gamers and clientele. I agree for, for me, Techland, a 10, 10 out of 10 feathers. They, uh, their games are very well thought out, well thought very, through. very, um, uh, polished for like nowadays yeah. you get these games that are, aren't even early release. They're full release. And, and some of them are unplayable sometimes, and you're just like, what um, the hell? Yeah, I can name a few. <laughs> we're not going to get into that. We're not going to bad man. That, but <laughs> I remember everybody's like, you got to go try this game. I tried it, and I was like, I can't even play this game. It yeah. took me half hour to get into a match. It just... Yeah. Mm -mm. So, There's... so Techland, uh, keep a keep a watch for for Techland games. Uh, if you like yeah. to support support developers that support their player bases, this is one of the, of the great ones. And I yeah, look forward to company. other other further really things company. that they develop. And and I'm We're sad they didn't pay they didn't pay us to yeah. say that. I'm In fact, they'll probably never even see this. So yeah. I'm I'm sad to not be able to play a full game of whatever Hell Raid was going to be. But yeah. um, but at least they rewarded their player base, and we get a taste of it in the DLC, which comes out July 23rd. Um, so either come check it out on one of the streams or get it yourself and I play it through. Streaming it. Might do it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing that. So, with that, though, um, go get Dying Light. Go look at Techland. See what other games they it. got. You definitely won't regret it. Regret God, I cannot talk today, dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's been a week. It's been a week. <laughs> with that, That's though... Awesome, guys. We are out of here today. Look forward to seeing you guys next time. Much love all. Um, of course, Crow streams on uh, Twitch over there, Mr. Crow69. Uh, we'll put the link down at the bottom. Um, I stream on Twitch also, and then we both have the YouTube page, which is what you'll be watching this on anyway, so I guess I really don't need to talk about that yeah. part. And if um, you guys don't know, uh, Duck is a full-time streamer right now at the moment. So yeah. and, and 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 from sure. what I just heard, it might be a little longer than I had anticipated because uh, 
he's got an extended contract now. No, 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 no contract, no contract. But I thought I would be going back to work in August, and now it doesn't look like I'll be going back to work in August, so it might be uh, a little bit longer. So, um, so yeah, we uh, I do I do stream at noon every day and uh, eight o'clock p.m. Uh, Pacific time. What time do you stream, Crows? Nine o'clock Central. I stream uh, Monday through Friday at nine p.m. Mountain time. Mountain that's time. Eight p.m. Uh, Pacific. That's 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Okay. So come check us out. Come say hi. Yeah. Or if you guys want to talk out. about anything or let us know, make sure you comment below. We always read all the comments. Yes. We always talk about them with let each other uh, because we want to know what you guys want us to talk about, uh, what we can improve on, what you want to see. What you want to hear about. What you want to yeah. hear about. And what, plus, what we just like, we, we need some pats on the back anyway. You know? we children give Especially after this week. We need lots of pass. <laughs> 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 All right, all much love, but we um, are out of here. See you, everyone. Laters.